Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, my camera's kind of messing up, guys, and my memory card really, really sucks right now. So it piece broke off and all this crazy nonsense. So, today's video is going to be... <clears throat> excuse me for my voice, oh my goodness. Today's video is going to be about doing a makeup look... Well, doing a no-makeup look with makeup. So basically this is just going to be a natural beauty enhancer. Um, we're just going to be applying a few products. Literally you can count them on one hand. Um, the last product is not really something to apply. It's just something you spray. So these five to six products that you're going to be using on your face is going to enhance your natural beauty. And therefore make you look like you have no makeup on make you feel like you have no makeup on, but you actually do something just to enhance a little bit there. So the five products I'm going to be using today are going to be ELF's um, Poreless Primer uh, right here. Uh, then we're going to be using ELF's Acne Fighting Foundation. This is in shade beige. Okay. Then I'm going to use my ELF Brow Pencil. Okay. Right here. Then I'm going to use mascara, Elf's Lengthening Mascara. Then Elf's um, Twistable Lip Pencil, right here. And this is in color Natural, the shade. And then the last one isn't an Elf product. It's actually my Sephora Beauty Amplifier Set and Refresh Mist. Okay, so these... Um, six products are going to be used and it's something for a mom on the go uh anybody who's always in a rush or wakes up late and like but first i need coffee and makeup like you know these this is what that's for that's ex this video is directed towards that because i'm always in a rush i never really have time to do the full-blown contouring and if i do i have to wake up like two hours early because i'm like a perfectionist and i want to get everything right so being beautiful takes time and sometimes it's very painful, it's the truth. So first off, whenever you do any beauty regimen, always make sure that you have a clean slate. So your face has to be clean. Don't apply this on top of acne or open wounds or scars. Don't apply any uh, makeup regimen on top of things that need medication or anything like that because you're only going to make it worse. Um, so always cleanse your face first. You can see, you know, I've got a little bit of acne here and there and stuff like that, but that's also the beauty of primer. So before you apply makeup, don't ever apply it directly to your face without primer. Primer not only helps you know, keep it smooth and set it in, but it keeps the makeup from going directly into your pores and making it, you know, dirtier. So always rinse your face, wash it with, you know, just minimal, at least soap and water if you don't have a skincare regimen. I actually use Elf's Daily Cleanser and their um, Hydrating Moisturizer every morning, and I try to do it every night um, if I remember. So the first thing we're going to do, just as I stated, is going to be your uh, primer. Be nice if I showed you the right side, right? Um, <clears throat> so this is actually my first time using the poreless primer. I usually use the hydrating face primer. Um, so it's a little different. It's not white, it's actually clear. But this one's you know, white rubs in clear, so it's not like you have to worry about white blotches all over your face. But I just, you know, gently get this primer all over. So I try to get every inch of skin that I'm going to be applying foundation on and make sure that it has primer and that it's, you know, thoroughly set in. So this primer actually smells a lot like, um, like an aloe, uh, witch hazel kind of scent. It's not the greatest of scents, but it's also a very natural scent. So that's always good to know that, uh, you know, it's got some natural ingredients in there. Uh, the good thing about e.l.f. is that they are vegan and they're 100% cruelty free. So that's one of the main reasons why you're going to see almost all my videos be with e.l.f. Because I'd rather give you guys the opportunity to, <clears throat> to use a company that is affordable. Completely affordable. As in like, go to Walmart, go to Target, and it's only going to be like 5-6 bucks the most. You know, some may be 10 or 12 and that's if you get like this whole set. But a dollar guys there's certain things that they have on sale for 50 cents i mean come on you can't beat those prices 
So after you apply your face primer, you're then gonna apply your foundation. So this is the Acne Fighting Foundation by e.l.f. I, this is actually my first time using this one. I just recently ran out of the one that I was using, which is by Sephora. Um, and this is in be uh, color beige. And this is an acne fighting one. So this is gonna help prevent acne a little bit, fight it a little off, which is good. So it, it, this one's also gonna have a little bit of a scent to it isn't bad you know it just means it's doing its job so you know I just apply a little bit here on my hand I try to give it a nice enough squeeze because I want to make sure I get everything and then just use my beauty blender as you can see I did record this video almost like twice before my camera decided to just like fully give up on me so that's why you see it has all the all the makeup on it but if you are going to be using it make sure you wash this out first and if you're going to use it on anyone else, be sure to wash your brushes and your, your sponges and things like that. So I'm just going to, you know, lightly blend all this in. So you don't necessarily have to do the full dabbing action completely on your face when you apply makeup. It helps for a lot of it. You know, when you get near the eyes, you want to do the dabbing feeling only because... Your eyes are very sensitive. It's something you should really take care of. So you can see the amount of coverage this product has. It is a buildable product. So if you feel like you need an extra layer for whatever reason, feel free to add that layer in. I don't necessarily think I need it. I got a foundation on my lip here. Oh well. Um. So, this is that right now. I just wanted a, a better to just smooth it on there. I don't mind using the brushes. I was using foundation brushes for a long time. I just, you know, I do enjoy the Beauty Blender. Now, if you have like a stipple brush, those are really good too. So, we're just going to make sure we get all of that in there. So yeah, I apologize guys that this may not be as high quality of a video. This is being recorded on my iPhone 7. So. Alright, so there you go. My face is now covered. You don't see as much redness. Mind you, this is for someone on the go. That's not like, you know all being completely picky about certain areas of their skin, just trying to apply something to make them look natural. You don't want to look too overdone because then you're like, oh, she got makeup on. So, after um, my foundation, I'm going to use my e.l.f. brow pencil. So, if you've seen my brow tutorial, great. If not, you'll now see what I do to my brows. So, I normally use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow but I'm gonna do an all one product video basically for today. So you're gonna see me use this. All right, so I like to do little brush strokes along my brow line. Okay, so you can see the difference there. I do light strokes because you wanna mimic hair. You wanna mimic hair, like little hair strands and hair lines. You don't want to like completely draw it in. This is not a coloring page, okay? It's your face. So light brush strokes is all you really need. And pardon me if it's not perfect, but I am using the actual video as my mirror today. So. All right, so that's one brow. And then what you do slightly after that, which I'm just gonna look away for a second because I feel like there's a spot bothering me. Oh, my eye. Oh goodness, don't tell me I got an eyelash in there. 
Oh, those are the worst, guys. I think I do. Getting an eyelash in your eyeball is like the worst feeling in the world, especially when you're trying to do makeup because it just... Yep, there it is. Eyelash in my eye as I'm doing my brows. Wonderful. So, back to what I was talking about are my brows here. So, I then gently just brush it to kind of blend it all in. Okay, so do you see the difference there? A little bit fuller, a little bit more outlined. So that's the look that we're going for. And it's just lightly, you don't see me, you know, putting a lot of pressure on the brush itself, on the pencil itself. All you need is a little bit of pressure very very little because you don't want it to be too dark or too light so you know if you have to go back in fix a little i think i went too far there always keep a little makeup wipe on handy they always help, okay? And then we're just gonna brush this out. Get this little corner right here that's bothering me. All right, so those are my brows. So now that my brows are done, infinito, we're then gonna apply little bit of mascara here. So this is the e.l.f. lengthening mascara. All right, so, I mean, I'm taking a little bit longer doing this because I am not used to doing this this way. So, I mean, granted, it may take me 15 minutes on this video, but it should really only take like five, to be honest with you, okay? Now our lip, okay. If you need to apply a little chapstick, go on and do that. I always have to apply chapstick, my lips stay chapped. It's terrible. And now, it almost looks like I don't have anything on, right? Okay, all right, all right. So, if you have an actual little step you wanna add, feel free to add like, um, uh, like inside your, like underneath eyeliner. I'm gonna add a little bit cause I like the way that it enhances my eye color. I'm gonna use the one that came from my Ipsy bag, which I love very much. It's very silky and smooth. So if you have that little extra time, you could add this step and just apply a little eyeliner inside right here. Doing this part always makes my eyes like mad watery. So I would say add this step if you feel like you wanna look like you have just a little bit extra makeup on than a standard like natural look, okay?
and that'll be that. And now I think I have another eyelash, but in this eye, good lord. <laughs> All right, so that's that. And then the complete last step, if you wanna skip the eyeliner and just leave it at the lip, the, the mascara, the brows, and the foundation with the primer, then you're all set. And now I'm just gonna spray this. So you just, I'm gonna look a little weird right now. I'm just gonna spray this to mist. Embrace it, you don't need a lot. You don't want your face to be completely wet. You just want it to set it. And then that's it. So there you go, guys. So there, this is my video for my makeup, no makeup look. And maybe a little bit of enhancement on the eyes there since I added a little bit of eyeliner underneath. So there you have it. If you have any questions or comments, list them down below in the comment box. Also, be sure to subscribe. Hit the like button. Share the video. Check out my other videos. All that great stuff. Um, leave me some advice. Any YouTube beauty vloggers, beauty YouTubers, leave me some advice. If you see this video and you feel like you're doing this wrong or you should be doing this instead, leave it below. I'm learning and I will be going to school pretty soon for makeup only. Um, and that, that'll start actually my birthday weekend. I'm super excited, um, which will be September 29th and the 30th. So go on and leave your comments below, questions, advice, and things like that. Positive vibes only, please. Um, I love you guys and I will see you next Tuesday.